guys, I am super excited about today's episode because we are going to be doing some cooking. This is the purple yam, also known as ube for some of you who may know. From the Philippines, that's what they call it. And it's my first time cooking this one and it's really special to me because what I meant by that is that it's my first time cooking one I harvest from my very own garden. So in case you guys missed that episode, I'll link it down below for you guys to go check out. I talked about how to grow it and just the process of growing and to harvest that yam. Now, just to give you guys a very quick uh, reference and kind of explain to you what the difference is between a yam and a, a sweet potato, this is one that I harvest in my container garden just the other day. This is the purple variety of sweet potato. Now, sweet potatoes and yam are actually different species. Although they are closely related, they're actually different. There's only one species of sweet potatoes, which is part of the morning glory family. Now, from that species, there are so many varieties of sweet potatoes, even the ones that are called yam in the grocery stores are actually only a variety of sweet potatoes. So the ones you see on like like Thanksgiving where they mash those up, that is actually a sweet potato. And this is it, a sweet potato. And then we got this one right here. This is a yam. This is a purple yam. It's a different species compared to, uh, you know, to, uh, well, these two are different species. So the purple yam is a type of yam and there are actually a few uh, a few species of yams out there. The yams are actually, you know, a staple in Southeast Asia. It's a root vegetable that would just keep growing. If you let it grow in the ground, it would just get bigger and bigger. And it's a very reliable source of food because, you know, of natural disasters, if say there's like a flood, a, um, a uh, you know hurricane, like a typhoon that comes through, a lot of your vegetables on uh, above ground would you know, die, rot out, even some root vegetables may rot out. But yam is something that would stay intact and is still going to be good to use when you dig them up. So it becomes a very reliable food source, uh, you know, in Asia. It's very starchy, so it's high in calorie, just very filling kind of a food. And the purple one is, uh, you know, even though this is a purple yam and a purple sweet potato, I mean, I'm sorry to break this to you guys, but you know, I've seen a lot on the internet where people are selling slips of um, uh, purple ube or purple sweet potato and, or they call it like a purple ube or something, but actually the picture they show is a purple sweet potato. Almost looks like an Okinawa sweet potato variety. So that is not a true yam. A true yam looks more like this. And this is a sweet potato. Got it? <laughs> It is super veiny, like all these roots grow all over the the yam and the sweet potato is a lot more clean looking. So the yam, there's several varieties, like I said, well several species. This species, this one, you cannot eat raw. It would cause irritation. That's why we are cooking this up today. I'm going to show you one of the ways that I really enjoy eating yam. And then uh, maybe I'll expand and share some other recipes if you guys are interested in, in the future. I'll do that. So here is a type of yam. Here is another type of yam. Now this one is called the mountain yam. Uh, the Japanese and you know Chinese will also grow them. Probably Koreans too. I'm not too familiar with you know different types of Asian cultures, but. Uh, yeah, you usually would find these this type in uh, Asian markets. You would also find the white yam in Asian markets and probably even like Caribbean uh, sort of a, or ethnic grocery stores. But uh, yeah, the purple one is very special because I, I don't see them around. This one is, uh, like I said, it's a different species, but it is both very slimy and that's kind of how yams grow. They grow in a vine and they're just kind of like a, a slimy kind of a, a texture but also very like heavy, you know, uh, rich in calorie. This one here, what makes this uh, special is that it can be eaten raw. Mm. It's like water in my mouth, super juicy. And very crispy, kind of like a nice crunch, like a pear. 
but a little more aerated. So anyway, this is a yam. This is a yam. This is not a yam. <laughs> but sweet potatoes can be eaten raw as well. Now, sweet potatoes need to be cured to uh, sweeten up. If you try to cure yam, it would never sweeten up. Not that I know of, at least, because they're, well, they're different species. Since I only dug this up uh, last week, it has not had enough time to cure. It's not going to be sweet, so I don't want to waste this, uh, you know, a decent sized sweet potato. I'm just going to eat this tiny little one. And yes, I don't know how much sweet potatoes you can eat it raw but it is edible raw. And this is the purple variety. Mm. It's tad sweet. It's nice. Mm. It's kind of like nutty too. I like the, actually I like this crunch of it raw. Maybe I can do like thin slices in a salad or something. Yeah. Ube is such a hearty vine. You can see that after I uh, harvest it, just in a matter of uh, within a week, I can see a little bit of the side shoots, like it's starting to sprout already on the top. So when I use this, I'm just gonna cut the top off to save it to, uh, you know, encourage it to, to sprout, and then we'll use the rest of it. Let's get started and make some lavender kanji. This is where the stem grew, so I'm just gonna cut this top part off and let that sprout there it is just gonna let this part dry out a little bit and then I probably can plant it in soil
All right, guys, here it is, ube soup. I made it savory. I kept it super basic just so you guys can see what it looks like. It is super gooey and uh, yeah, it just makes a really nice kanji. So this is like the base that you can make and add anything to it. Traditionally, they use, uh, well in Vietnam, they use like shrimp or, you know, some seafood in there. Uh, and then you would pair it with some herbs and this is a rao om which also it's, ca it's called a hug hugging herb or something <laughs> it's a really sweet name this is basically ube <laughs> in a most simple form okay here it goes super super purple <laughs> look how gooey this is mmm mmm it's so silky smooth. <laughs> the flavor is really neutral, but it has like a very light hint of taro nuttiness to it. So it's a little bit fragrant, but flavor is extremely neutral. So this is a really nice base for any kind of like stew, soups, curries, um, even you know some desserts. Or kanji. <laughs> mm. So cozy on this breezy, cold, little chilly day. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me today to make this purple yam, also known as ube, soup or kanji. I'm so grateful to be able to grow this. I will be sure to give you guys more updates in the future and more future uh, uh, videos on recipes if you guys are interested. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that I can see you back here again. You can also follow me on Facebook or Instagram where I do some instant updates on my life that you don't get to see on this channel. And if you would like to support my work, I really would appreciate it. Please go check out my website at wendyland.com. I will leave all the information that I mentioned in this video just in the, the box below with all the links provided for you. Thank you guys. Happy gardening. Stay healthy. I shall see you right back here very soon. Bye.